Good day and welcome into an energy drink review from Tick Beer Bomb 420. We're looking at Monster Ultra Sunrise. And it's one of those cans where the pictures on it have the feel from the can. You know, if you pad them, you know the feel. And I'm just looking at it. Some of it looks like a little bit like space, like UFO and Saturn or whatever kind of looks and others, who knows. But yeah, I don't know. Let's see what I can show you. You know, the designs there, it just gives it a certain feel. Even if you don't want to drink this, grab a can at the store, touch it. You'll see what I mean. So it's Ultra Sunrise. I'm not 100% sure if this is the newest one out in the Ultra lineup. Because there might be some like citrus one that came out after this or something. But it's the newest one I can get my hands on at the moment. Found a store with it. Now it says on the back here. Get up, get out, go for it. Ultra Sunrise is dedicated to those who sacrifice sleep for passion. Catching waves at dawn patrol. Up on morning dew gives the dirt more grip. Or the first pass on that e lake, kicking off an epic wake session. Ultra Sunrise will get you started, but is great anytime. Like crisp or flavor at all of its own. Packed with a full load of our Monster Energy blend to keep the fire burning all day long. After all, it's always sunrise somewhere. Unleash the Ultra Beast. Uh, da, 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 da. Everything, well, calcium would be for a whole can 20%, but your B3, 5, 6, and 12 get 200% in the whole can. Um, 151 milligrams of caffeine per can. Natural flavors, lemon pulp in here. And by the way, natural flavors is number two after the water. Uh, so it's more natural, the flavors. With all the stuff that they put in to preserve it and whatever these acids and taurines do. Got the caffeine or salt in here. And one monster wake. Corona, California. All right. Sugar. Zero calories. Da, 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 da. Ultra sunrise. Let's just review it here. So they put a black uh, monster tab on it. Smells more like it would be like orange juice, orange pop, passion fruit, something along those lines. And it smells like the way they did the sweetener, it might give it off that, oh, it's too sugary taste, because at least the smell seems like it. So, yeah. I'll just pour a little bit out. Alright. Uh, it's got like, I guess you could say... Dare I say, kind of look to it? Was that how, no, wasn't it brighter for Oz? They're the passion fruit one. But anyways, that's the look. You smell it a little bit from here. Um, It's got like a sugary smell off the sweeteners. And smell-wise, I don't know, it's like an orange juice, a passion fruit, a grapefruit, something along those lines. Like, it's all natural, the flavor, and there's lemon pulp in it. But anyways, I'm going to taste it and see what I'm thinking it is. So, yeah. On that note, folks, here comes my sip. Cheers. There's a part of it that I'm thinking, oh, that's good. And there's a part of it where I'm thinking, oh, there's that ultra bullshit, <laughs> so to speak. Because, um, oh, there's like all these different like half moons on the cans and stuff. Anyways, um, it's got that effed up part to it that the ultra lineup has. 
where the sweetness just give it all that weird blah taste, right? But flavor wise. Once you can get through like the sweetener sweetness and the fact that it dries out a little bit and goes a little sticky flavor wise, I'm going to give it, I could be wrong, but I'm going to say it's kind of like an orange juicy, kind of like a passion fruity kind of combo. Yeah, it's almost like a juice, but not in juice style, energy style, if that makes sense. I know there was those amps just at one point. I had had the orange juice one. That was years ago, but um, so it's not juice like that, but it seems like a poppy version of a juice done in energy style because it's got that crappy ultra blah 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 taste thing going on and then to me it seems kind of like orange juice passion fruit something like that but only for a few seconds it's really really beautiful because then it like you know kind of dries out and goes into the ultra style and the ultra style thing doesn't let it taste ultra beautiful so for the ones I've had I guess it's the better of them potentially but for nothing woo unless you're really into that ultra BS now if you're not into 200 milligram caffeine levels but when you get those ones that are meant to not have any sugars in them that have like 240 milligrams caffeine like some of those uh, rock stars that are like these stuff. Those ones don't give any extra energy. So if it's got high caffeine content and no sugar, I don't get much energy. And it's in the hundred milliliter range. Even if there's no sugar, I can get some energy. You know, just in the two hundred will get an extra kick without sugar. And it's like an orange passion fruit thing with a shitty ultra taste. And that's ultra sunrise. A brew from Tits Beer Bong 420 Energy Drink. Whole cans, 151 milligrams of caffeine. Bye.